Welcome to St. John's of Laddingtown for prayer and meditation on this Wednesday, September the 2nd. So over the last two weeks in our meditations here, we've talked about uh, reconciliation, forgiveness, and social justice issues, which we've brought in these wonderful personal examples uh, dating back into the 1940s, if you remember my conversation. Uh, and then also as we move forward into the present day. And all of this hopefully has helped to illustrate for you some of the themes that we're carrying forward on Wednesdays. And those themes are, of course, uh, Christian discipleship and engagement with the world around us. And especially as we live into this world each and every day with more and more of our awareness of our biblical faith and the practicing of these core Christian beliefs. So today, I'd like us to continue that work. And I'm very grateful uh, that you've decided to join us uh, once again here to stop and to pray in the middle of your day. And so in the limited amount of time that we have, we ask ourselves, what are some of those core beliefs? and how might we be more engaged with them in this everydayness that I'm talking about and, and bring in then, with God's help, a more peaceful and just world. More on that in just a minute, but first let us pray. Grant, O oh God, that your holy and life-giving spirit may so move every human heart that barriers which divide us may crumble suspicions disappear and hatreds cease that our divisions being healed we may live in justice and peace through jesus christ our lord amen now of course there are many areas of human life uh, where ethical standards have played these critical roles in the development of uh, western civilization uh, such as, of course, environmental ethics, uh, social, business, and legal ethics. And so then our task today is simple, really. And that is to ask ourselves, how will the gospel call you and me to address these uh, complicated societal issues that we all wrestle with to some degree, and underlaying that in the midst of this pandemic and uh, social unrest. So we Episcopalians are a diverse and uh, socially active group, aren't we? Ready to jump into the gospel work, you know, respecting uh, a range of views. And this ensures that uh, we are sensitive to all of the questions and uh, objections that might arise from our stated positions. We're aware of those and sensitive to them, and we, we try to be good listeners. But we often live in mystery, don't we, Anglicans do, in that in-betweenness at times, and that's not easy to do. So solving ethical questions, of course, is not easy, especially some of the big ones that come right at us today. But frankly, discernment of truth is far more critical, isn't it? As Episcopalians, we believe Christian ethics is a matter of discovery of truth and not invention of it. We're seeking what God wants, right? We're seeking what God wants and, and we're not inventing what we would like for God to call truth. Now, one of the, the amazing people that I have run across uh, in, in my life is uh, John Howard Yoder. I, I would consider uh, one of the greatest Christian ethicists of our time, frankly. Uh, he was uh, a Mennonite professor teaching at the University of Notre Dame. Uh, now, you talk about diverse perspectives. It doesn't get any bigger than that. Anyway, as registered voters, right now facing uh, the November elections. 
let us meditate and reflect on this man and particularly this quote that I'm going to offer you that comes from a book now from the 1970s, right? And the title of the book was The Politics of Jesus. So as we hear this, I want you to think about especially how we seek to justify or to clarify our vote. From John Howard Yoder. Some may claim that Christians must sometimes do evil because worse consequences may come about by doing good. Christians have not been charged with making the world come out right. Rather, we are commissioned to obedience, to faithfulness. And it is God, not we, who must bear final responsibility of God's strategy of dealing with the world by the way of the cross, rather than by the ways of violence and its power. Today, may all Christians continue to discern God's abiding truth and respond. Thank you so much once again for joining us on Wednesdays here at St. John's. And I do hope the rest of your day will be both happy and healthy. And now the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be upon you this day and remain with you always.